Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the last lesson of sulfonamides, we learnt sulfacetamide, sulfapyridine and sulfamethoxazole. Hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other related topics of sulfonamides and medicinal chemistry, links are given in the description below this video. Watch them. In this lesson, we shall discuss the other sulfonamide derivatives such as sulfadiazine, maphenide acetate and sulfasalazine. Sulfadiazine Sulfadiazine was approved for medical use in US in 1941. It is a synthetic pyrimidinyl sulfonamide derivative and a short-acting bacteriostatic agent. It is chemically known as 4-amino N2-pyrimidinyl benzene sulfonamide or 2-sulfonylamide pyrimidine. It is a sulfonamide consisting of pyrimidine with a 4-amino benzene sulfonamide group at the second position. It has a role as an antimicrobial agent, an anti-infective agent, a coxidiostat, an antiprotozoal drug, a dihydroteroate synthase inhibitor, a xenobiotic, an environmental contaminant and a drug allergen. It is a member of pyrimidines, a sulfonamide, a substituted aniline and a sulfonamide antibiotic. It derives from a sulfonylamide. It is a conjugate acid of sulfadiazinate. For sulfadiazine synthesis, acetonilide is chlorosulfonylated to give 4 acetylamino benzene sulfonyl chloride which is reacted with 2 amino pyrimidine. The so formed compound on alkaline hydrolysis yields sulfadiazine. Sulfadiazine is a white odorless crystalline powder soluble in water and sparingly soluble in alcohol and acetone. It is readily soluble in dilute mineral acids and bases. Its pKa is 6.3. Similar to other sulfonamides, sulfadiazine inhibits bacterial folic acid synthesis by competing with PABA. It works by inhibiting the enzyme dihydroteroate synthase. Sulfadiazine is sold under the names Lantrisul, Neotrizine, Sultripul No. 2, etc. It is commonly used to treat urinary tract infections and in the form of silver salts that is silver sulfadiazine as an external antibacterial agent primarily for treating burns. In combination with pyrimethamine, it is used to treat taxoplasmosis, the disease caused by taxoplasma gondii. It is the second line treatment for otitis media, prevention of rheumatic fever, cancroid, chlamydia and infections by Haemophilus influenza. It is taken by mouth. The next drug is maphenide acetate. Maphenide was approved in 1948. It is the acetate salt form of maphenide, a synthetic sulfonamide analog of PABA with topical anti-infective activity. It is chemically 4-amino methyl benzene sulfonamide. It is a typical sulfonamide because a CH2 bridge separates the benzene ring and the amine group. Thus, it is not a true sulfonamide type compound as it is not inhibited by PABA. Its antibacterial action involves a mechanism that differs from that of the true sulfonamide type of compounds. Muffenide is synthesized from benzylamine. Benzylamine initially reacts with acetic anhydride to form N-benzyl acetamide, subsequent reaction of which with chlorosulfonic acid and then with ammonia gives 4-acetamidomethylbenzene sulfonamide. Hydrolyzing this product with a base such as sodium hydroxide gives maphenide. Maphenide competes with PABA for the bacterial enzyme dihydroteroate synthase thereby preventing the incorporation of PABA into dihydrofolic acid thereby interferes with the normal folic acid metabolism. As a result, de novo synthesis of pyrimidines which requires folate metabolites is impeded and subsequently DNA synthesis is affected. Muffenide acetate is sold under the name sulfamylon. It is used to treat severe burns. It is used topically as an adjunctive therapy for second and third degree burns. It is bacteriostatic against many gram-positive and gram-negative organisms including Pseudomonas aeruginosa and certain types of anaerobes. Some sources state that muffenide is more appropriate for non-facial burns 
while chloramphenicol and prednisolone or bacitracin are more appropriate for facial burns. And the last drug is sulfasalazine. Sulfasalazine was approved for medical use in the US in 1950. It is a synthetic salicylic acid derivative. It is an azobenzene consisting of diphenyldiazine having a carboxy substituent at the fourth position, a hydroxy substituent at the third position, and a 2 pyridyl amino sulfonyl substituent at the 4 dash position. Its IUPAC name is 2 hydroxy 5 2 pyridyl amino sulfonyl phenyl azobenzoic acid or 5 para 2 pyridyl sulfamoyl phenyl azosalicylic acid. It has a role as a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, an anti-infective agent, a gastrointestinal drug, a glutathione transferase inhibitor, and a drug allergen. It is a sulfonamide, a member of pyridines, and a member of azobenzenes. It derives from a sulfonylamide. It is a co-drug which is a combination of sulfapyridine and 5-amino salicylic acid coupled with an azolinkage. It is broken down in the body to M-amino salicylic acid abbreviated 5-ASA and sulfapyridine. Sulfasalazine is a fine bright yellow to brownish yellow powder. It is practically insoluble in water. It is stored and protected from light. Its mechanism of action is unclear. One proposed mechanism is the inhibition of prostaglandins resulting in local anti-inflammatory effects in the colon. Sulfasalazine is sold under the trade name Azulfidine. It is used in the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease including ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. It is considered as the first line treatment in rheumatoid arthritis. It is taken by mouth. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video. The sulfonamide individual drugs sulfadiazine, mafenide acetate and sulfasalazine. In the next lesson, we will discuss the folate reductase inhibitors. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.